Well, since it's so late, we'll, uh, we'll keep this a little brief and quick, but um, it was a challenge, and, and I think more than anything, it, you know, you got to find ways to win, and uh, that was what we did tonight. We, we've harped upon the fourth quarter, and, um, you know, it came down to that. You know, we, we, I got to give them a lot of credit. Right? I mean, they, they came in here with a plan and did a pretty darn good job of sticking to the plan. <clears throat> you know, I don't know that we did enough to adapt and adjust their plan um, as that the game got really methodical and it was very unique at halftime as you're kind of sitting there in a 10 to 7 game and kind of curious as to, you know, how we're going to create some energy and momentum um, because they had done a really good job at slowing that thing down and keeping the ball in front of them on their defense and methodically moving the ball with their offense. Uh, and I've been in these games before. And, and sometimes they're not the most fun, but what it comes down to is you got to find a way, and you got to make some uh, adjustments that maybe you didn't envision you'd have to make, uh, you didn't want to make in game one, but you have to make those guys make some of those adjustments, and we did. And uh, I give our guys a lot of credit. You know, they didn't bat an eye. The leadership on this team is much different, and and that's what I'm really excited and proud of. Um, but it was a test. It was definitely a test, and. You know, that ball, that ball game came down to the fourth quarter. And, you know, you got to find a way to create some energy and momentum. And it's not because the ball hit off their leg, but that's, you know, one thing that does happen in the ball game. Uh, and that was the way that we created that energy and momentum. And you kind of felt it really shift and roll from there. Questions? Great, Corey. Luke, obviously, the, you talked a lot about in this offseason the depth of the defensive line. How did you feel like they handled what, what uh, Western Michigan was doing with their run game in the first game of the year? Well, it's really hard, right? They're, they're not going to give you any opportunities to make some tackles for loss and, and plays like that. And they're not going to give you a whole lot of opportunities to rush the passer. And, you know, that's the thing that can get frustrating for those guys. You know, I'm not going to say they did a great job. I'm not going to say they didn't do their job. Um, but when the game gets methodical like that, it, it takes a lot of discipline. And, um, you know, that, that's where, you know, we, we played a lot of guys. We rolled some guys through there. Um, maybe we didn't play as many or, or the, the – the numbers of which we needed to. Uh, I'll be curious to try to look at that. But I think all in all, those guys, you know, continue to hold up. They continue to do what we asked them to do. Um, and but we know this. We've got to find some ways to create some negative yardage plays so that the game doesn't become as methodical as it is. Luke, Barry had this theory that uh, great teams have five great players and no glaring weaknesses. I don't know if you shared that with you at any point. Do you still think you're trying to get to that point where you there's five great ones on this roster. Is, is a lack of playmakers an issue, do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's one game. Um, it's hard to, to say, uh, you know, whether there's not enough playmakers on the field. I mean, if you've been here long enough, um, you know that there's going to be days. I don't want to make excuses, days like this, but games like this that all of a sudden become that slow and methodical. Uh, I would think around here you've seen a few of those. Um, it's not what you know. Maybe you envision every single day. It's not maybe what we envision going into this thing. But that's, you know, I give our guys a lot of credit for their ability to adjust, adjust and adapt. And it gets frustrating. Don't get me wrong. Being a former defensive lineman, there's nothing worse than a 16 play drive that's you know two, three, four, six, um, and you don't have a chance to rush the passer. And when they do throw the football, it's you know sometimes a max pro or some little boot or wag one. That's a that's a compliment to them. Um, you know that they they did a really good job with those things, but. There's times when you just gotta you guys gotta buckle down and you gotta find ways to win and, and that's what we had to do. Oh. Luke, um your team had a lot a lot of long drives. They always they didn't always end up with you know yeah. touchdowns. Just how do you sum up the night? That, that's that's the thing. I mean, I thought we played pretty clean. I don't have the numbers, um, but when we didn't play clean and we hit the red zone, you know, we, we get it. We get a false start. We get, you know, we had a couple negative yardage plays where you know we try to bounce the edge. Um, that's the thing that if you there's something that's glaring that we got to do a better job of. Um, it's when we get to the red zone. I think offensively, we, we had too many penalties. We put ourselves in too many negative yardage plays and then put us in situations to kick field goals. And that's not what we want to do, and we know we've got to do a better job of that. Um, you know, and, and that's something we've emphasized and focused on, and now we just got to make sure we do a better job. Jesse. Luke, what are your initial impressions of what Tyler did in his debut here at Wisconsin and maybe some progress you feel like you've seen offensively? Yeah, it, it's it's – it's hard from the naked eye just to say. I mean, I, you can look at the numbers, and to be honest, I think he did what we asked him to do. Um, we, we, we wanted to be physical. We wanted to run the football. We wanted to manage, you know, the, the game in a, in, a, in a way that, you know, we weren't going to just take shots um, to start off with. Uh, and, and I think he did that. You know, I think there's going to be a few that you'd look back at 
it, it goes back to the red zone. The only thing I would say, same thing with Tyler, that we got to continue to to harp on and emphasize is we've got to do a better job in the red zone. We can't take as many chances. Uh, balls bounced off of a couple of their guys' hands um, in the red zone in particular. And then w when you're in those you know situations where you're you know you're scrambling and you're you're you know you're in dire need, sometimes hey, let's just be good with throwing that ball out of bounds and. and Live to fight another day and go to second or third down, and and uh, we've got good opportunities to, to gain what we need. Cool. Look, I know it's tough not being able to watch the film over, but in terms of pass protection, how did you think the line kind of handled it? They had that little stretch and that uh, where the turnover happened. Yeah, I think we happened, gave up but... one sack. I think yeah. that uh, you know, again, I don't know that they had any penalties. I think that that's you know, one of those things that you know is got to be a strength of ours. Um, and, and I think those guys did a really good job tonight. I mean, they loaded the box. They played a lot of bare defense. They they made it difficult on on you know us in some situations to run the football. And um, you know, but but all in all, you know, I, I think as a whole, I, I felt like in the first half, had we got to stop defensively when they had their long drive. We had them in a position where I think the offensive line was was you know in some ways maybe going to take over, um, but that's credit to them that they they got the big drive and let their let their defense get that energy and momentum back. And then obviously the the fake field goal was a was a really big play that uh, created some some momentum their way and, and made us have to to handle a lot of adversity. So Steve and then just the first day with the first game with the communication helmet, how did that end up? You know, I, I couldn't tell you. I didn't. I don't use it a whole lot. I know the iPad stuff was, you know, something we had experimented with and used in the uh, in uh, in the bowl game. Um, so I, I'll be curious to to get the feedback, not just from the coaches, but the players that had them in their helmet, because it is a bit of a trial and error. I'm not saying that. You know, this is things going away, but I mean, we've got to figure out what the right part and. And, and that is, is there too much? Is there not enough? You know, how do we use it? Um, and that's what things we got to get better at. And I'm, I'm not saying we didn't do a good job. It's just until I get the feedback from both the players and the coaches, I think we got to find a way. You know, we, game one to game two, you got to find some of your biggest jumps. And, you know, that's not just in the play, it's in communication, it's in some of these technology things that we, you know, that we have afforded to us. Um, but there's a lot of things that, you know, will give us an opportunity to get a lot better at. Luke, you guys had a lot of long drives tonight. I know it was already talked about, but just in terms of needing those big plays, you didn't take a ton of shots. No, we didn't. Field. Would you like to have that a little bit be a better part, bigger part of this offense? Yeah, I, I think we know we would. Um, you know, but it, it obviously got into a game in a situation that I, I'll be honest with you. The number one thing going in the game was we wanted to be able to pound the football. We wanted to play physical. We wanted to be able to, you know, kind of impose some will and, and make sure that, you know. We get these backs in this line rolling, and if that meant that didn't mean we weren't going to take shots, but you also had to go in and if if they're bailing and playing three deep and some things like that, um, it wasn't maybe as much of the opportunities to take some of those shots. I think we threw one to Bryson um, is the only real down the field shot, uh, and so give them credit. I mean that they they did a good job of staying on top of those things and and not uh, giving us some of those opportunities. But we all know that that. The game is a is a is a game of big plays, and both sides of the ball, right? And and if there's one glaring thing that we know we've got to continue to do and find ways, it's not do you have enough players? Do you have enough athletes to make? No, there's it's a combination of those things, but you also got to take what they give you. And I think that uh, sometimes, you know, when you have this perception of what it should look like, based on you know what somebody else thinks or says, uh, and then it doesn't look like that. You can get a little bit, you know, worried. But the reality is that, that you know, there's a lot of different things that go on and happen, and uh, there is a plan in place. And, and to be honest, I, I think we were pretty close to the plan um, in all that we were wanting to do. Nick, go ahead. Luke, in kind of a methodical game like that, you talked about taking what the defense gives you a little bit. How is it so beneficial, you know, to have veteran backs like Chez, like Tawi, and how did they kind of set the tone early and then ice things a little bit late? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that you have confidence in them, right? I mean, if you keep giving them the opportunities, you, you know things are going to break. And uh, they did a great job. They did a great job taking care of the football. They did a great job at, you know, making some of those plays. You know, there, there's things they got to get better at, too. I think there's a couple of those negative yards places we get in the red zone that all of us have to recognize that we, we have to do better. Um, 
you know, there's some younger guys at the, in, that, in that room, in that tailback, in that running back room that we wanted to get some more opportunities to and, and had a plan to. And not because we thought we would be in a different position, but really we're going we're gonna, to, you know, put them in. But those guys were, you know, we're feeling it and, and doing a really good job. And, um, you know, we had to go with and continue to stay with them. But it's, it's a long year and we're going to need a lot of guys back there. Um, but those two guys give us an opportunity to do what we want to do.